you obviously have to pick, I mean, for, for a long time, you've been picking hosts and, and, and judges and whatnot. I mean, 500 Questions is, is one right. recent example. And how do you think about, okay, what, what makes the most sense? Do I always want a Simon Cowell? Or no, I want, no, no. So there's a difference between a host and a, a judge. judge. That's true. And someone on a reality show, right? So, um, and, and then there's a hybrid. So, like, I put Simon Cowell and Gordon Ramsay in the same bucket, mm -hmm. which is... They're both really talented, mm -hmm. and the reason people like them is because they are authentic. Mm -hmm. I think Mark's like that, um, yes. where you know, there's you, you will forgive a bad day or an angry comment, or if you know they're real, mm -hmm. if it feels to you they're coming from a real place. When I first put Gordon on TV, um, Fox had said because I knew what he, he'd done Hell's Kitchen in England, and it was one season. And I'm, and they're like, well, we don't want him to curse. I'm like, not curse. Right. I don't have a fucking television. Take the show. wings off him. Yeah. yeah. Right, I'm right. like, he's not gonna say friggin' all day long. Right. And, you know, <laughs> and, and, and then they also were afraid to put on. They were afraid that he was going to be uh, at that moment. It's like maybe we we're four seasons, five seasons into Idol, and oh, people don't want mean anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm like. That's what he is. You have to embrace what he is. And that's, mm -hmm. and not that he's mean, but that's who he is. Mm -hmm. And that's why people like him. And that's why people like Simon and things. So when you're looking for certain things, you know, a host of a game show is very different than, you know, someone that's. You don't want a it. mean host. Right. right, right, right. No, <laughs> that's not going to work. Right. right. It's not diff mean. Or it's but candor. what I do. <laughs> <laughs> but even, but it, it's not even, but as long as you're authentic, as long as, you know, and, and, and guy, you're authentic. I think there's a sense of, you're you know, good man. Nick's more of a host. Nick's a host. He's calling me not authentic. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but it's a game Show. No. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. No, That's it's, exactly what he's no, saying. No, no, it's different. Take it. Look, I will say he's, he's, he's being himself, being a host. It's different. Yeah. It's a different yep. thing than being a judge. It's a different thing. That's all I'm saying. What's the wildest thing that's happened on one of your shows, whether it's made it to air or it hasn't? I mean... Those of you who don't know my past, I did a lot of, all my shows were so crazy that I literally put everything on air. When animals attack, police chases, uh, when good pets go bad, um, mm -hmm. you know, every show had something crazy. Can I tell you how much it. I love when animals attack? Thank you very much. <laughs> yo, you. I'm telling you right now, right. yo, I love that. I like, the stage, you see though. some lady sitting next to a bear really or something, and okay, she's I'll not looking. <laughs> the bear, like, gets shot. That's it. Do with the karate trying to hold the bear back. I did. I did a show called, that a lot of people saw called Man vs. Beast. So we had humans. Humans going against guy. So well, the one thing I wanted was a runner to go against the giraffe. Mm -hmm. I thought that's interesting because <laughs> <that's a, laughs> why not? That. Except <laughs> I'm not. That guy. Except we had a problem. The giraffe, uh, the horse knows he's supposed to race. The giraffe doesn't know. <laughs> so we're like honking horns and spraying a little water, anything to get him. Nothing, zero. I'm like, okay, what are we? So then we ended up with a zebra, but I was very unhappy with that. I felt like a giraffe would have been very well, interesting. Well, you should have won the race. You should put a, a lion um, behind him in a yeah. camera. Right? <laughs> the zebra won the race. You know what I also had on that same show? I had um, the guy that was the current hot dog eating champion, Kobayashi. Kobayashi. Right. Mm -hmm. No, he's not, he's not the leader anymore. No, no, he's but no one back in the time. See how I know this stuff? Yeah. So, you have all the and, I, and it, like, he was eating, you know, like, I don't know, 60 hot dogs in 12 minutes, huh. which is crazy, with the buns. And we put him against the bear. No competition. The bear killed, the bear takes a tongue. And just, How'd you like to sell him to the world? That's so, a business in and of itself, ain't it? So we did have some crazy stuff. Um, so really, literally, uh, I mean, when I those shows, there was almost nothing that could possibly go wrong that you wouldn't. What were you guys like as kids? I was like this. <laughs> I absolutely was. There's no I'm question about it. There's no doubt about it. Honest. There are people who knew me in school. Everybody recognizes me. I never go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we went to school here. Shocking. Yeah. Yo. Exactly the same. Place. Same beard and everything. And, and almost and the same height for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, no, but the truth is, that's the truth. I, I have not changed over the years. Uh, and people seem to... Darnell, um, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos uh, from The Hollywood Reporter. I would love to see some some world leaders on Lip Sync Battle. Uh, like, yeah. I, like yeah, I'd love yeah, to see George right. W. Bush no, and, and Bill oh. Clinton go at it. <laughs>